Wales Firehouse Friday, and today we shine the spotlight on the Newington Fire Volunteer Fire Department and their 95 years of service in the community. This is all to raise awareness and funds for the Connecticut Burns Center at Bridgeport Hospital. Joining me now are Deputy Chief Frank Papa and Firefighter Alan Bryant from the Newington Volunteer Fire Department. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Good morning. Thank thanks for having us. Uh, so first off, what are we making here? I see a lot of pork products. <laughs> <laughs> we are making what I call uh, South End Protection Pork Loin with Backdraft Brussels Sprouts. That bat, oh, how fitting. Very <laughs> nice. And we should mention you guys are celebrating 95 years of service. Correct. That's pretty cool. And a big Part celebration this weekend? Yes. Yep. Department was founded in uh, 1917. And uh, this Saturday we're having a huge parade. Just, uh, 25 other departments are celebrating with us. They'll wow. be involved in the parade and a whole host of other organizations. Great. So it should be a real good time. Yeah, we'll hear about some of the details in a little bit. But first, let's get cooking here, Alan. What do we make? Well, we know what we're making, but how yes. do we do it? Uh, we're going to start off with a three to four pound piece of pork loin. Um, I'd like to lay it out, trim off as much of the uh, fat that's on it. And then uh, once that's done, you're going to wrap it in bacon. And you put that in the oven for about 15 minutes a pound at I feel 300. Like anything with bacon on it would be great. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's usually the, the going uh, good factor about it, but yeah. Are you uh, the cook over there? Uh, You're at at, at my firehouse, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm the, uh, I'm the chef by choice, so. All right, should we wrap this? Is uh, absolutely, I'll, okay. uh, I'll trim this up a little bit. Just want to get off most of the heavy fat. You don't really need it there. A little uh, bit more appealing and appetizing at the end. Sure. All right, so what happens? You're preparing a meal, and all of a sudden you guys get a call. You got to drop everything, shut the oven off? <laughs> um, more or less? <laughs> more or less, depending on how many guys are down in the firehouse and, and whatnot. They all like to eat when they come back, so uh, you sometimes I'll stay back. But, Make yeah, sure if, they have food afterwards, yeah, right? That's yeah, important. If need be, yeah, just shut it all down and uh, toss it in the oven on warm, and we'll be back. <laughs> all right, actually, we have some pictures we could uh, take a look at. I think it's of the, uh, what are we looking at here? That's uh, Newington Fire Headquarters, and those are our four uh, frontline engines, engines one through four. And uh, you could, that is the original firehouse. Oh, you've come a long way, huh? Come a long, long way. Um, that, that fire station, I believe, was built in 1929, and uh, that was uh, when the town of Newington actually bought its first fire truck. Uh, that's our command staff. Um, of the chief and assistant chief and the other uh, the other deputy chiefs. Great. Oh, and there's the badge, right? That's our uh, that's our patch. How many calls do you respond to each year? Um, somewhere between 800 and 1,000. That's a lot for a volunteer department. It, it is. It it you know some it's three a day sometimes, and wow. um, we're uh, we're extremely busy and and we're not the EMS first responders. So that's all strictly fire calls, I see. whether it be alarms or fire or extrication, something like that. I think it's important to remind people that you guys have other full-time jobs. You're volunteering to do this. Absolutely. It, 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 the fire department is now a, it. <laughs> it, we're busy enough that it, it's like having a full-time job. Got it. Now, what have you done here to the pork? You've put some spices yes, down? Yes, uh, trimmed off all the fat and all the silver skin, all the stuff that you don't want to eat when it's done anyway. Okay. Seasoned it up with a little salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Now I'm going to... Take about a half a pound of bacon, and just uh, nicely wrap it around here. Very nice. Okay. I want to ask you, why is the uh, the burn center so important? Well, I, you know, it, 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 what it, what they do is is they're the only ones in Connecticut that do what they do. Mm -hmm. uh, first off, and um, we see it unfortunately too often, mm -hmm. and um, just you know they're they're amazing folks down there and what they do, and you know anything that we can do to help. Uh, not only the public, but, uh, you know, God forbid, you know, one of us needs to go there. That's true, right? You know, we, we want them to have the best of everything, and anything we can do to help, we, we try and do that. Very good. Frank, tell to me about these ID kits. That's going to be available this Saturday at the celebration? Right. At the, at the conclusion of the parade um, in, uh, in the park, we're going to have a, uh, a table set up, and we're going to do the child identification. And uh, what that little kit allows you to do is uh, you can fingerprint your child, place to attach a, a current photo of your child, um, important information that, you know, if, if your child for uh, some reason is, is going missing, mm -hmm. that it's everything that the, the police and the rescuers would need to, uh, to, to locate. Sure. 
And uh, the, there's even uh, instructions in a little bag to you know clip a little lock of hair so you can have it's a DNA an important sample. thing to have, right? Absolutely, and it's something that probably people wouldn't think of. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to offer those up um, in exchange for a donation to the uh, to the burn That's center. That's perfect. All right, now, Alan, you've, you've taken off the fat. However, we've added some bacon. Yes. yes. <laughs> so I guess it all evens so, out, right? So, so you add a little, you take off the fat and add some more and extra flavor and whatnot. And then uh, once that's all wrapped up nice and pretty, you put it in the pan, 350 for 15 minutes a pound, depending on the size of your pork loin. So about okay. an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Come out about 140 degrees, 150 degrees. You want a nice medium well. Very nice. And the Brussels sprouts, you just kind of, you put them in a frying pan um, or less? Actually, I, I start, I prefer to use fresh ones. Okay. Um, I can show you. Um, we're running out of time, actually, okay. but we're going to taste them at the end okay. of the show, which will be great. But I want to ask you, what's the most popular meal at the firehouse? Oh, anything I cook. <laughs> <laughs> wow, is that good, true. huh? All right, let's put some info up on the screen. <laughs> if you at home want to help out the Connecticut Burn Center at Bridgeport Hospital by making a donation, go to ctburncenter.wtnh.com. And we're going to dig in at the end of the show, so don't go anywhere. In fact, put that in the oven for us. You got it. Uh,